Ayo, so <clears throat> welcome to uh, Venus Day Life. You know, it's all that free, uh, that Friday energy. And um, yeah, so this is going to be a short one. But at the same time, it's going to be a Q&A. Q &A, eh? Shout out to the goat. You know, the he goat. Ah, shout out to the goat. Shout out to the goat. You know, your lowest animalistic states. People talk about being a he-goat. Unesikia mna kwa mbi anakuita senge. Ah, ni msenge sana weme. We msenge. <laughs> Meaning you're a he-goat. <laughs> Na unajua he-goat inatabia mbaya sana. You know a he-goat itajikojolea. Eh? He likes sticking his, his slender member into his mouth, peas on his kidevu. Ajua senge inakuwanga na ndevu pia, eh? Asikia nga ni senge. Mamea kidevu kama senge, wacha usenge. So, all that beard. So, this is one way of, uh, when you are looking at what you can call uh, the correspondences. Bio. Eh? The correspondences, guys, a beautiful house there. Here are some chairs on the balcony. I don't know if you can see them. I don't have to show you, though. It has a nice ghetto. Yeah. Ile Kingston life, you know. <laughs> you know that life that uh, Canadian uh, students fall in love with. Najua kikujalamu, they can't go back, you know. <laughs> Those Canadian girls, <laughs> when they come to Lamu, now about to oh, beach boys, I'm okay and wala wanatumianga the dao, akina echo dao, you know. Shout out to all my Lamu boys, you know. All the guys who operate those towels. I will take those ladies on beautiful night cruises in the moon sky. And most of those girls don't go back. <laughs> they can't resist the magic. They'll be like, oh shit, I found me some Mufasa. I found me some Kunta Kinta. <laughs> and things of that nature. So, not after Mali. Um... I'm getting closer to the road and now I can hear the motorbikes and I want to finish this video. So I'm looking for a place to prop, prop the phone. Shout out to everyone in the comments. Uh, this is an esoteric, esoteric live. So you better be taking notes. Hey, hapo kuna muiba. So you take messages, if there's thorns, that's natural protection. So there's a lot of thorns there. So that's a lot of um, Satan energy. Satan as in the planet, not Satan, the religion Satan. Eh? No, not that one. Satan, the planet. So a lot of what you can call Libra energy or opposing Aries, the first house. So you have to know how to look at messages. So that video by default would have had a lot of resistance. You know what I'm saying? So now... You have to know how to travel inside you. AKA, to be with God is to go within. Or most of the people will say, if you are looking for the answers, you have to go in thin. You have to go inside. You have to go to the yin realm. Okay, what you call the yin realm. So now, when you go to the yin realm, or the fourth, fifth, and sixth dimension, what is called your thoughts and feelings, beautiful flower right there, eh? Beautiful flower. Fuck the flower. Back to the content. So, when you are traveling there to your yin, your internal, your makaba, this is your first cloth. Okay, this is the first cloth that you create as a spirit when you come to this world. So, when you are going within, you have to know and remember that just the same way you travel when you are on the 3D, when you are on the physical world, just the way you travel, a.k.a. if I want to go forward, I have to move forward. Okay? Just the same way I travel in this world, if I have to go back, I have to reverse, I have to walk backwards. Okay? If I want to separate from something, I have to move to the left. Okay? If I want to be connected to something, I want to move to the right, a.k.a. I want to put my right arm around their shoulder. If I want to move to the left, I have to separate from them. I have to push them away. Okay, so just the same way now you are doing it alchemy. Okay, so this is alchemy now. So this is now deep into the spiritual world now. This is deep esoteric knowledge. Okay, 
just like you are doing it in the physical, you are doing it in the spiritual fast. So now, these are places you can go to, okay? These are chakra points. Chakra points are like organs. Your organs are chakra points before they come together. Before they find your body, okay? A.K.A. your tree, okay? Before you find your desire, the snake, okay? Now you are in creation time now. We're in the spiritual world now. We're in the fourth, fifth, and sixth dimension now. If you don't understand what I'm saying, we are in the thoughts and feelings. I cannot see your thoughts. I cannot see your feelings. But I can see how you think by how you move. I can see that you have big thoughts. I can see you are building big buildings. I can see you have a nice car. Those are good thoughts. I can see you are taking your child to a better school. So those are good thoughts. So I can see... Your actions, the works, the fruits of your labors, and they can tell me you are in a good space. You are someone who has a rich mind. The same way with your feelings. I can tell if you are happy that you are a person anyone can resonate with. Okay? I can tell from how you make me feel or how you make people feel around you that you are a terrorist. You are a terror to your own people. You are an abusive motherfucker. Okay? I can tell from how you make people feel. Okay? I can tell with how I feel when I'm around you, in your presence. That is what I'm talking about, the thoughts and feelings. That is the fourth, fifth, and sixth dimension, a.k.a. that is the mind, what happens in the mind. But remember, you are not your mind, and you are not your body, since you can change your mind. You are not your mind, since you can change your mind. That means that mind is not you. You can change it. You can change your mind. You can decide today, I will no longer be battered. I'm changing my mind. You can change today. You can say, I will start being more mindful. I'll start being more aware. I'll start becoming more, okay? Self-reflection. I need to change my habits. I need to have a 5 a.m. habit. I need to be getting up two hours early. I need to, okay? So now you can change your mind because your mind is not you also. So you are not your body. You are not your mind, okay? But you are using the mind... To come up with these thoughts. So the mind is something you can use. The mind is a chakra of its own. It's the crown chakra. So the crown chakra, or whatever you want to call your chakras, when you want to go to the second house, the throat chakra, the solar plexus, the root chakra, all these are like energy points. Now think in the animation now. I want you now to think out of the physical. I want to take your mind now into your minds, into your thoughts and feelings. Think of your chakras like celestial bodies or what you can call like, uh, uh, for, for example, it takes a solar system for us to run there. We have the sun and then we have the planets. So think about yourself in the same way. So you have your solar plexus, your fifth house, your midsection for yourself, and then all around you, what you'd call like Mars and Jupiter and all these planets, that is why you are accumulated to your chakras, are connected to you now. Those are your energy points, your crown chakra, Jupiter. Okay, so that is how I want you to think about it. Your, your, your throat chakra, Taurus, the second house. Okay? You are thinking uh, opposite, Venus, ruling that chakra. So now when you understand that your chakras are your organs, now how do you travel there? You have heard people saying, I am in a happy place. What's your mind? Hey, my mind, I'm in a happy place. So it's a place you can go to. So now how do you go to those places now in the spiritual world? Because this is something you can do simultaneously, even when you're in the physical world. Yeah, the noises are becoming unbearable. As I get closer to the road, Africans, you love noise. You love living in chaos. It's not your fault. It just shows where you are, vibrating. You love chaos. You love disorder. The lost tribe. Okay? You love chaos. You are ungovernable. So they have to come up with operations to stifle you down, to keep you in check. So they have to poison your soil, okay? They have to give you what you call bioterrorism. They have to fuck up with your soil. They have to fuck up with your systems because you cannot be allowed to flourish because you flourish in, 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 in lostness again. All you can do is fuck and create more children but not build. And this world is about building, okay? So they look at you like they're, they're low-hanging fruit. Now back to the video. So now, learn to be happy just because you want to be happy. Because that is a place you can go to. So now, 
I hope you have your pen and paper ready. If you don't, you know, every time you come to my lecture, you have to be writing something, okay? Because the next time you ask the question on a live, I will not answer it. I have too much to give, to be going back and forth, okay? So now, and I may even talk about it in a video, and it goes up to Shika. You ignore. Anyway, um, so now, in the spiritual world, if you want to go forward in the physical world now that we are, but now we are in the spiritual world so that you see how it is done. So in the spiritual world, because your body follows the spirit, if you want to move forward, aka what you call in this world, moving forward in life, then in the spiritual world, you have to be optimistic. So learn the alchemy of being optimistic, even when you're in the physical, so that when you are thinking, when you're optimistic that things will be better, okay, things will be okay, things will work out eventually for me, it means in the physical world, you will always strive to go for endeavors that make you go forward in life, move forward in one way, shape or another. Now, in the spiritual world, in the fourth, fifth and sixth dimension, which is your mind, this is, as, this is where you have your Adam and Eve, your sons and daughters, and daughters of men, your many descendants. In that world, every time you feel regret, you are moving backwards in the spirit world. Every time in the waking life, right now, every time you have something you are regretting, it means in the spiritual world, you moved back fast. Remember, your physical is following the spiritual. So if you have a lot of regrets in your life, you have to stop and understand that in the spiritual world, you are moving backwards. You are not letting things go. You have too much baggage on yourself. You are doing that thing of pushing the rock and then you go all the way back. That bullshit, that allegory. So in the spiritual world, you are moving too back. You don't want to let things go. And everything has an expiration date. Everything dies, a.k.a. everything gets bombed or bathed into a new thing. That is why we even have seasons. So now, understand that if something has stopped serving its purpose, with a good faith, you are like, friend, we've been friends for many years. We used to go to school together, but we can no longer continue being friends. My terms and conditions and your terms and conditions don't mean shit. You are in a legion. I do get you are in CU, YMCA, but that was 10 years ago, 15 years ago. So though you are in school together, we don't belong together. Shout out to that love song. We belong together. Ten, ten, ten. But then when it comes to friendship, you have to understand that you also develop new friends depending on where you are in life. You move to a new neighborhood, you get new friends. You move to a new place of working, you get new friends, a.k.a. new acquaintances. What a friend we have in Jenga. Oh, I have not even seen the oranges. Ah, kumbe hata kuna matunda hapa. Ni oranges ama ni nini zile. All I can see is they are yellow, so that's for the solar plexus. Kama zinaka alaim, ama I think ni pears. I think ni pears. So now... Learn, so once you learn this, you can decide now all the regrets that you have, all the things that you keep looking back to understand that you should not stop, stop doing that to yourself. You don't deserve to keep looking back. You are not Lord's wife. That some of you are very salty. You are like Lord's wife. You are, you are full of regrets. Oh my God, you are a slave queen. You can't leave that thing. You'd rather get beaten by your husband to a pulp. But na kwa naeka pasi kwa kwa moto, na kupiga na pasi kwa moto. Bakini wezi enda. Si naishi kileleshwa. Oh my God. I live in kileleshwa. I'd rather hide this with some makeup and get in my, 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 my loan, my loan, car, my, my Mercedes, my, ah, no, no, it will be a Mazda CXZ that is on loan and pretend that everything is okay. I'm going to go to Yaya and do some shopping. You know, I have to put on those uh, uh, Dolce and Gabbana sunglasses uh, that he got me one time on honeymoon in Italy in 1985, hide it with some makeup and it's going to be okay. No, it's not going to be okay. Because you are doing it based on a desire. You want to stay in an abusive relationship based on a desire. And that thing that you love, 
ends up killing you. Now, back to the video. So, in the spiritual world, every time that you want to separate from something, you have to do what you call go left field or choose the left hand path or do what you call separating or do what you call opposing in one way, shape or another. So if you want to separate from something, aka you want to separate from your abusive motherfucker husband or your abusive uh, 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 cheating girlfriend or, or you want to separate from whatever terms and conditions you want to, I don't know your terms and conditions, it's on Izako. You are the one who knows how many hands you have been shaking with the devil. So I don't know. But I know, all I know is for sure, each and every man walking on this world will want to separate from one thing or another. All the way to you wanting to separate from your mother. Now you want to go and get your own bed sitter. So everything has to separate. Because for you to learn in this world, you have to separate from something. And for you to separate from something, you have to be opposing to that thing. All the way to most of you getting married because you are opposing your mother. You didn't even know why you got pregnant because you are trying to be rebellious and wanted to move out of your mama's bosom. I'm saying, when a woman becomes pregnant, okay, that baby is coming regardless of what you want. Kama atakuwa kwa shamba, it doesn't matter. Kama atakuwa kwa shamba, kama atakuwa na lima, aijalishi kama atakuwa na lima. U mama wakati wake okupata mutoto ikifika. Ni lazima mutoto wakuji. Hata kama kwa matatu, that baby will come. Okay? So understand that even for you, when you need to do what you call detaching from something, that detachment will come. So it is you to decide, are you ready? Are you ready? Do you want to have a painful detachment or do you want to have a harmonious detachment? A.K.A. you are doing the right exercises. Okay? You are doing the right, the right care exercises to strengthen your pussy area so that you can push that baby, so that that baby of separation can be easy on you. Okay, you don't have to go through a lot of labor pains. Now, in the spiritual world, aka this physical world now, yin yang, okay? When you are feeling too righteous, okay? That means in the spiritual world, you are traveling to the right too much. There's nothing like a direction up there. It's not a direction. We don't have up, down, left, or right. Because that would be wrong. Because then you need a starting point. Okay? You need a location to start point to say this is east or west. And we don't have that in the spiritual world. So we have virtues and principles, a.k.a. When you are feeling too righteous, when you're feeling like your religion is the only thing, when you're feeling like Allah Muhammad is the only prophet, when you're feeling like this is the only way, it's either my way or no other way, it means you are moving too much to the right because that is the energy of righteousness. So you have to understand the alchemy of righteousness. What is to be righteous? Okay? You have to do some homework. I'm not giving you everything. So once you understand how to move, that whenever you are feeling depressed, it just means that your spirit is pulled down. May I shout out to the noisy motorbike? Shout out to you, noisy motorbike. Making noise just based on a desire and you scare piki piki on a kelele. See the piki piki na ina kelele? See the piki piki yo? Na imetulia. So, every time you are feeling depressed, every time you are feeling down, every time you are feeling overwhelmed, every time you are feeling like things are not going your way, then it means in the spiritual world you are going down. Okay? Every time you want to go up in the spiritual world, aka even in this world, every time you want to be seen up a pedestal, or every time you want to be seen up or you want to feel uplifted in one way, shape or form, then you have to be uplifted. You have to feel like you are uplifting something or you are being uplifted. So 
shout out to everyone in the comments. Shout out to you for coming through for the esoteric life. Love and appreciation, Venus. And um, yeah, coming from my walk, I'd gone for a walk. So I'm finishing my walk now. It took me a lot of time. I think I've been walking for two and a half hours, but it was worth it. Eh? It was worth it. I drank from the river, carried my chupa of maji. This one I live with it empty. I just drink from the rivers. There's a lot of water around here. People are gonna maji. So come out here, muto. You can just go into any homestead and get maji. You know what I'm saying so. Done with my walk to open my hips. Open your hips, Jenga. Oh my God. I need to open my hips. Happy five. The other gender is the one opening their hips. <laughs> Shout out to the other gender. <laughs> to all my witches in the in the house, to all my beautiful ladies and all my beautiful women. You know we love you, that masculine energy. You come first. I'm saying so. Siambu and Amutu man was first. No. <laughs> Female is first. Okay? I shout out to that noisy motherfucker also, eh? I watch our pit there, and I'm a sigh out, eh? We are neither for nor against. Kila mtu wafanye penyarata. Penyarataka. We have a lot of baby spirits here. You have to understand how baby spirits come to this world. Baby spirits are come through the moon so the moon is what you can call a collection of spirits if you can see them in the physical no jagger stop going too much eh? so these ones are not ready for that kind of don't cast your pal to swine no, no, no i'm not calling you swine not in a bad way to this guy to me and i can i a swine no, i'm not calling you swine is this life still on I don't even know come I'm still on. Maybe at a idea. Maybe at a will hang on with that You're just talking to yourself, eh? I feel good talking to myself. I don't mind. So I'll talk to myself for a few more minutes. <laughs> I'm actually like five minutes from where I'm having my breakfast. So now um I don't talk to guess I need me. See you on the camera. You see, they have asked any question. Uh, you wanted to tell them something. You wanted to remind them. Wakubushe! 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 Aki wakubushe! Wakubushe! Aki wakubushe! Kidogo tu, usingia tu deep, eh? Just scratch the surface. Sawa sawa, let's scratch the surface. Now, when we say that female comes first, I'm not saying woman. I said female. So I'm talking about the feminine energy in totality. Sasa before you put your beautiful boobs here, before you put your beautiful hips, uh, before you put your labia, majoras, minoras, and all those beautiful organs that you have, before you bring in your walking vibrations as walking portals and everything, hapa ni mianza pale, eh? Kwa virtues and principles. So the feminine is first, aka, for you to become aware, in the beginning, you have to be inside something, you have to be in a container, okay? You're in a container, something is containing you, something is holding you. So now that container, so that container, to lean on a wall, enough sun for one day, I've had enough sun. Can this wall hold me? Can this wall hold me? I don't know how to get a wall. Can this wall hold me? I bet you it can. Now, so that feminine energy, okay, is what we are calling the female. So that feminine energy is like, so when you have an accumulation of a thought and feeling in one place, that creates a density. You don't even have to see the density. You know that once you have an accumulation of many things in a place, there's going to create a density. Now that density, which becomes a transparent density, 
you can't see it but it's there it's a transparent density since it has not taken any shape or form it's just virtues and principles that becomes your moon that becomes your cloth that becomes the first thing that you cover yourself with that becomes the cloth that adam and eve were covering themselves in the garden of eden that becomes the twig that becomes for the mason the apron when you go to the mason they put an apron across their head that becomes the apron that you cover yourself you are supposed to have your own makaba you are supposed to have your own moon Okay, so though you're utilizing the moon external, you also need to know how to cover your own nakedness. It's not because Adam and Eve covered their own nakedness. So you have to need you need to know how to cover that transparency. And how you do this is by creating a sun out of that moon. What do I mean? So now that moon, that reflection, that cloth that created, which is nothing but a feeling first. Okay? And even in this feeling, it has got to, it doesn't even have the feeling of, of, of the positive or the negative. At this particular point, these feelings, they are genderless. They are like God. They are like the angels. They have no, they are like androgynous. They are in the middle. They don't have the masculine or the feminine. They are just there. They are just void with no shape and no form in creation. Okay? So now, that thing, for it to understand itself, it has to have a it has to have a masculine. It has to externalize. So for you to see yourself in the internal, you have to externalize. By default, that creates the masculine. Now, the masculine, by pushing out by default, that dumps the word or the thought or the light. So that's how you create now your son, who we see. So your son is the masculine of your feminine. Because feminine is first. And that's it for today. I don't want to go too deep onto that. Thayo, thayo. Let me see if you have a question. And then we can end this live. Let me sit my sexy ass here. Sit my sexy ass here. And then I see if we have... Thanks for repeating the same. Sorry, reminding. I listened to your YouTube video on Moeri and I was amazed. Jenga, where do we learn if not from you? Feel appreciated. Thayo, wow, are this same with my daughter? Hmm. Yeah, yeah, followed, followed. People are saying Subaru, Taurus, Energy. So, done, 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 liked, liked the live, followed the live. Message joined. Kamaumoga Siko. Like the live, join, join, join. Ah, oh, yeah. I, I don't think there's okay guidance or understanding the spiritual realm. Okay, I don't see any question. So, thanks for repeating. So, Neda, thank you for coming through. I uh, will catch up later, of course. Venus Day, love and appreciation.